All right. Who wants to remind me what happened last time we played? <laughs> doggies? Get a little, oh, little, know, little refresher. Dog? What what didn't happen? A lot. A fair uh, amount happens compared to what uh, we're used to. What are they Mostly called again? Alex the got snack packed by a goblin war dog, apparently. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. They're called hob hounds, is what they're called. Hob oh yeah, hob goblins. That's what we're dealing with. Oh, well, hob, are we well, the still hob in goblins, a fight? Yeah. No, you guys had the dog. You guys had managed to get away from them, and they got bored and yeah, left. Yeah, and they got shot by and the then guards. And they got yeah. shot later. Yeah. Yeah, pink like flew so up. We were and... like almost dead. Yeah. Oh. After they crit us like three times. Like. Like I had to literally spend my res half my resolves not to die. I mean, yeah. fucking Richard could have shot them all just from the sky, and it would have been over. But yeah, I don't think that was gonna happen. That nah, could happen. I could have just flown no, around and I, shot it. I, I could see where this was going, so I decided to just go ahead and call the combat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like, because they're pretty tanky, too. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah. So you guys had uh, arrived on Voxa, where you were supposed to deliver the guns uh, for a Mr. Uh, Lord Sinjin, I believe was the name. Uh, yeah, that's the drow, right? Yeah, that's the drow. You had only met with his middleman, uh, Taz Jarseed, who had given you the details in the cargo. Uh, mm -hmm. And you arrived on Voxa to the very, wow. very, very rude hobgoblins you're supposed to deliver, deliver the weapons to. You're trying to get all the cargo loaded onto a heavy hover truck that they had provided. Uh, they've actually provided two that you're loading them onto. Uh, one that they have agreed to uh, drive and guard. The other one, they've pretty much told you that you have to drive uh, while you will have some extra guards on it. Uh, that's pretty much all they can uh, afford to give up right now. Uh, so while you guys were loading up all the cargo about four hours in to the whole ordeal, um, one of the uh, prisoners of the prison camp had started running your direction being chased by those oh. hobhounds uh and after viciously murdering him moved on to the onlookers uh which was in fact you guys uh and you were just barely able to get away and survive from that encounter for the most part uh before the hobhound got bored the only remaining one because you guys had killed one of them uh had run off and got shot by one of the guards uh a little bit after that uh, you heard some knocking on the cargo bay door and uh, somebody yelling through saying, get back to work. And that's pretty much where we ended off. Uh, another point of interest... The ship had guns. Yeah, the ship doesn't have guns. Um, another point of note is that before you guys had left uh, Aposte to go to Voxja, uh, Ashlyn Historia had informed you that they have decided to take their life into a different direction and didn't get back onto the ship. Okay. Uh, so you guys so had not left Vox. Friendship yeah. with um, yeah. Goblin Man. Goblin name? No. Uh, with Rage. Sorry, I just don't remember. <laughs> yeah, Insert name. Goblin name here. Bob yeah. Goblin? No, you. Razor. Um. And that pretty much brings us uh, Wait, to where what? we are. You didn't remember my name? Yeah. yeah I, remember anyway. I remember your name, Paris Vet. My you bad. Didn't you remember yeah. my name, huh? I'll, I'll remember your name now. It's uh... <laughs> Mr. Crumb. I'm it to memory. <laughs> All right, we're not actually in the pack world system. We're somewhere near space. Uh, somewhere but we're just using... else. Somewhere else uh, on Voxa. The beyond. So, you just you you kind of, guys are kind of just patched up your wounds you got going on now, uh, but you feel stronger from the experience. <laughs> like you're tougher and can know more. You know more about stuff. You don't know how that happens. I think one of you learned um, a new language life, in that time. Right? Well, yeah. I'm an yeah, I did. It's not a software update. <laughs> yeah, just a software update. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, so you guys are still uh, pretty much after you've uh, been told that it's like 
We well, you, you weren't really told it was safe for the work, uh, but you were told to get back to work. After that, you started getting uh, back to it. Uh, and a couple more hours have passed while you guys it's are currently... On the order. Yeah, you're currently loading up the rest of the truck. Maybe a bit more begrudgingly. Uh, you don't really like who you're trying to sell to right now. Probably yeah. more than likely. <laughs> when... I want to say uh, a little bit into it. One of the hobgoblins, uh, without any more guards, usually they travel more in packs, like at least two to a squad or something along those lines. Uh, one of the guards just walk up to you guys. Uh, but not in common and not in goblin. One of them speaks Castravellian. And <laughs> I speak that. Same. I speak it. it. And he says, "What is your transporting guns and grenades? <laughs> Do you want to take this over, Captain? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I just got the purple gun off Moisty Meyer. <laughs> <laughs> and he says it would, uh, it would be a real shame if those guns had ended up in the Resistance hands, wouldn't it?" Is the resistance looking for a victory royale? Call Speak to me in my lingo, Jack. Come on. <laughs> I was thinking no, about it. Maybe, I didn't maybe know what hob, to say. Maybe the hobgoblin <laughs> thinks this is code. You know? <laughs> just so happens that they're... Yeah, yeah, it just so happens they're missing a few scars that honestly would bring them to that number one spot. Let their squad take the victory, you know. <laughs> what the hell are you guys jabbering about? We got all uh, yeah. this stuff. You don't even you don't even understand what's being said because it's all in Castrovillian, but <laughs> filthy, filthy, filthy dog lovers. I whisper under my breath. <laughs> I kind of I, I, I whispered I, I, I whispered to Razors like I'll, I'll tell you later. I'll tell you later. How many V bucks we talking? <laughs> Unfortunately, we don't have as many V-Bucks as you're being paid, but we can still give a fair amount. Especially if a righteous victory royale can be provided. Uh, I'd like to telepath <laughs> tele telepathically <laughs> ask uh, Alex, since he can yeah. also, he's also understands. I was, I'm going to be late. Well, I don't know. Maybe I should just ask the DM because uh, I, <laughs> I, I, I'm a little lost on what's happening because I've missed part of the last session. Uh, who hired us to do this job? Uh, a Lord Ooh. Sinjin through uh, a proxy had hired you to deliver guns okay, to... Okay, so not the uh, company. Not Well, the company is like, you know, uh, the, you were hired through the company, right? Okay, so, um, so the company gets a cut of this. Yeah. Um, so if I, we were to not do that, then the company would not get their cut. I'm yes. just trying to find the name of who you're selling to. The the Hobgoblins, their organization. Yes. I kind of forgot it. <laughs> oh, yeah. like, the Get Around Authority. Get Around Authority. Just to kind of yeah, just to catch you up because it is kind of important. Uh, the Get Around Authority is a uh, militant band of Hobgoblins that has been trying to take over uh, many different planets that have had I um. Hobgoblin Ancient iconography. Hobgoblin, yeah. Yeah, like ruins and stuff like that. That shows there was civilization of hobgoblins before. Vox is one such planet, and as such, uh, the miners of the planet, because it is, produces a lot of various mining uh, resources, uh, which is consistent of like dwarves, humans, and Shirins, which are like these bug people. Um, so they, so sorry, they repeat, have been. Repeat, um, the part about the getter on authority just now i have my notes open for take, oh, uh, for they anything. are assholes who are trying to take over any planet that had had um what uh any hobgoblin iconography on the planet that shown that hobgoblins had once lived there and they're forcibly trying to take those planets over uh, okay and they consist of like a bunch hob of hobgoblins other... yeah May wait just the get on authority yeah, the get around authority is it's just hobgoblins 
Uh, oh, I was trying to say okay. that Voxa, the miners of Voxa, consist of like dwarves, humans, and Shirens. Uh, who have lunch. been in. Yeah. And you've actually noticed that the uh, people of those races have been in this internment camp while you've been like uh, loading up the cargo. Uh, one of them had died in front of you from the dog attack, which you, yeah, I you think got, you, you got, remember. He got eviscerated. Yeah. He got eviscerated. Miners yeah. of, uh, miners of Sheeran? No, the miners consist of dwarves, humans, and Sheerans. Sheerans are like these bug people. Bug people, yeah. Oh, yeah. so they're just, they're just the miners. Okay. Yeah, yeah, they're yeah, just yeah. The miners, They're just yeah. probably the, the colonists of this planet that got fucked up. Yeah, uh, and okay. something that the Gitteron Authority and nobody else really expected is how much of a fight the miners had put up. They've had a resistance going on ever since. Uh, something that doesn't need a roll is that this hobgoblin trooper, this supposedly of the Gitteron Authority, has walked up to you and essentially, like, in code and also another language, has essentially said... Man, it would be a real shame if you sold this to the resistance. Wink, wink. Yeah. yeah. Um. What what planet are we? <laughs> You're on Voxa. It is not part of the Pack World system. It is a planet in your space. Okay. So it's in a different solar system. Voxa, V O X A. Uh. Voxa. One second. I V O H X A. But yeah, oh, pretty much. Oh, of course. Yeah, of course. The H. <laughs> Right. Okay. Uh, okay. So that right. that uh, that pretty much so we were hired you through up. the company. So if we screw over the company, then they don't get their cut. They they probably won't get the cut they're happy with. I believe. Yeah. The the thing is, you're currently on the company <clears throat> shit list because you're kind of not meeting your quota because of the last job kind of got screwed up. Okay. So well, this is a very um, well-paying job because it's a lot of money, a lot of guns. Uh, if you do this one right, supposedly uh, your well, your company will be happy. Yeah, you'll actually yeah. get a bonus. So, so uh, I'll okay. So let's see. I'm still talking to him, and I'm actually gonna start tele communing with him telepathically, and I'm just gonna tell him like, "All right, act normal. Uh, this is much more secure." Uh. Wait, can I can he I can also telepathic message him and be like, not really? No, but. you it's don't. One, yeah, it's only it's... one conversation. Yeah. So if I start conversing <laughs> with him, it's just me and him that can talk back uh, and forth. Okay, okay. I believe so. I think that's how we've been running it. Yeah. I'm still not 100 sure about that ruling. He can definitely but communicate yeah. back. Just, I think the thing that I, that we I also have telepathic message. Well, no, I'm like mine is just an innate skill for telepathy. Yeah. Um. But I think I think actually like I believe that I should be able to hold a conversation with as many people as I I want right. to. Except and... it, if it gets too many, then it just becomes like words. It becomes like we're in like we're all standing in the same location talking like Discord basically. <laughs> so it becomes um, worthless. But so he after you say that in 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 your mind's mouth. Um, he responds back in his in his mind so you can understand. Um we cannot talk too long. They will get um uh, they will get wise. Exactly. Uh, again, that's why I wanted to communicate yeah. telepathically so that you Even could go about your business. I'm not helping anyways. I am watching. I'm I'm a manager as you see. Yeah, but I'm he still needs to stand. He still needs to stand within 30 feet of you to actually understand. So it's like he's basically a lone guard standing with a bunch of weirdos. Yeah, so I'll uh, walk away. Uh, I'll like, I'll uh, go. I mean, I don't know. Where is there a guard? Is there somewhere that I could stand that's like near the ship, but not too yeah. close? Yeah, there, there's a spot he position. can stand that's a little bit less inconspicuous, but he's still yeah. like, uh, he does, yeah. he does go there. So you guys aren't even facing each other anymore. Yeah, uh, you guys have so, kind of just gotten back to work. Uh, but he is, he is still <clears> like along the lines of, I can't stay in this spot for too long. I have a patrol. Yep. I have to upkeep. Anyways, well, this is this is much better than having you come over and talk to us in a different yeah. language. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, uh, anyways, I think that um, for this arrangement to be done, um, we our company still needs to see the benefit, and they need to get paid. So, anything that would happen of that sort would have to happen after the transaction to our company, and therefore that way we get paid is done. 
perhaps there's a way that we could sabotage the weapons, give you inside access to where the weapons are so that a small group of your men could come and get the weapons after they've been paid for, then you would you would have the weapons. We would get paid by your enemies. I think we would both be happy. Um, there's a couple of points. One, if the weapons are being delivered to where I think they are, and I believe my intel is correct, there's no way you're going to make an opening that we can slip through, and the weapons will be lost to us. Second of all, we need those weapons. We can't just destroy them. We're going to need them. Well, better that they be destroyed or, or disabled than being used against you. Then you wouldn't get paid. Okay, well then we'll, I'll just deliver them. Whatever, fucking... Alright, go back on your post. Go back on patrol then. So we don't have a deal? Well, I mean, I'm... I'm you understand that we need to get paid. Um, we're not in the best relationship with our company. So they need to be happy. Now, like, you know, I, I may do what I can to help you if we can reach that end of us getting paid and um our company being satisfied i don't really care like by all means i'm all for the little guy we can help you out but we need to see a benefit to it we need to get a result i'm not going to do this out of the the kindness of our heart if it's going to risk our lives we to an unnecessary pay... degree, I should say. We we can still pay you for the weapons. But it's not going to be as much, and our company isn't going to be satisfied. Unless unless you can find it within your organization to pay us um, the same amount, then we may have something more to talk about. And there's a silence as, like, you can even, like, if you, like, look over your shoulder, you can kind of notice that he's uh, getting a little bit agitated. Um, and he's, he says, uh, in your mind, look around you. And he points out that the fact that there are people in this internment camp that are being whipped as we speak. People that are being <laughs> basically fed to dogs. The environmental conditions for, like, their living space is basically like a plastic box that these people get to live in while they live in this camp. I understand that the money is important to you and your company. But we can't keep living like this. I understand that the pay will be less than adequate but we are literally dying we are enslaved yeah bro i was literally dying 10 minutes ago to a pack of dogs and you didn't do shit the fuck <laughs> I have a, like I have if you would maybe if you would have lent us a hand maybe it would be a little more like inclined to to help you guys out but so far i see no difference between the two of you <laughs> i couldn't break my cup you have to understand i couldn't break my cover and I can't, and we can't break our company's fucking trust. <laughs> you can't break your Come on. I think you should understand that we, if we fuck this one up, we're dead. So yeah, we're. You good need to understand. Dead. I'm the only operative inside these walls right now. I could not break my cover. I'm sorry. I oh, understood I that, that we were in danger. Um, yo, 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 yo! Let's just out him. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what the conversation is right now. Only he, one. He knows the way. beginning of it. Yeah he, yeah, he doesn't know. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's. I know what I'm asking is a lot, but please. Okay, boys. Okay, A team. How do we miracle our way out of this? <laughs> all right listen all right you know what? how do we get more than when 80%. when do you round back around here again i'm sorry would you say? I, I didn't make you're, that you're out on, you're on patrol right so when do you loop back around when will you get back around here uh it depends on the steel 
if the deal doesn't go through, okay. I get out of these walls immediately. Okay, well, no, I mean, let me, I want a chance to talk it over with my crew. Let me, let me get their opinions on it. Um, how much, do you know how much your company would be willing to pay for the g same goods? Um, he yeah. gives you a number, and that's important that, uh, it's the same situation as kind of before. He says that he can offer half. <laughs> <laughs> Um, look, buddy. Half? That's uh, damn. This boy. Right, you're good. You're uh, the same. I'm, it doesn't I'll look good for it. you, but Remember, um, we're no heroes. I'm gonna. I'll check. <laughs> I'll check what they think. You know. Um, I'll be I'll, back I'll in see. thirty minutes. Yep. Yeah, all right. We'll see you then. You want uh, and, whistle uh, like a like a like, cockatoo. Gee, I thought that guy was never going to leave. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I'm still I don't here, buddy. Well when people sit and watch me. <laughs> um, how much? How much longer until everything's loaded up? Uh, you got like another like hour and a like another, like another two hours basically before you fully load it up. I don't know. Can I just be like a telepathy relay and just go tell them about everything? Individual, you. They're not like the eyes on you aren't like so intense that. You're basically having breath down. Like he was like the closest guard for a while. Right. They pretty much left you to your own devices while still keeping an eye on you from a distance. Okay. You can so freely like, whisper to try each and other. Subtly get everyone together, like still lifting boxes, but I'm gonna kind of go over everything that happened. Right. Everything that we talked about. That's absolutely something you can do. No, she touched the thing. Um. So, uh, <clears throat> the uh. That guy over there was uh, not from the Gideron Authority, um, so to speak. He uh, he had an offer from the miners of this planet to deliver the weapons to them instead. Uh, for half? Uh, he's kind of nuts. Uh, what do you think? <laughs> Let's out him. I don't. I don't think we need any more trouble right now. We've been. We can't even fight their dogs, let alone them, you know? <laughs> yeah, um, that's kind of what I'm thinking. And uh, the company isn't really uh, happy with us already. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, he, he can't even he can't even come close to the figure that we need. We well, can't. Uh, yeah, we've already interacted with him. There's a danger that he could try to make something up about us, you know, if we refuse. Yeah, it's a good thing that I record my conversations at all times. You oh, can't dude. record telepathy. <laughs> no, I can't record telepathy, but I can record the initial conversation. Sure. Initial Fortnite talk. Do you, do you think that is going to be sufficient? To uh, prove well, our that, that, us that conversation and then essentially planet? what it is. Essentially, he said, wouldn't it be a shame if it ended up in their hands? Um, I said something and about a lot Victory of Royale. stuff about Fortnite for some reason, you know. <laughs> uh, and uh, I was like, "Are they looking to get a Victory Royale?" Then I asked them how many V bucks we might want to cut that part out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I mean, I don't know. I I don't know if it's well. Captain, listen to me. You know, once we get paid, and we are off this planet it just doesn't exist anymore in our purview honestly i don't even think it really exists now to to be honest i've been kind of thinking people, about that these people and the tangle of their lives it doesn't matter to us yeah i mean you know i've been kind of looking at things from a different perspective lately i think that yeah it's kind of everything's kind of insignificant when you when you think about it <laughs> uh, so yeah i really about... don't care <laughs> Think about how many other horrible things are probably happening in this very <laughs> moment. Does that keep you up at night? Yeah, and and like and like not Being just this world, but like all worlds. Them saying doesn't matter. It's still happening. Yeah. And like I, I mean, at, at this point, I don't think we're really in the situation to do anything about that. To like really like we we got ourselves to take care of too. Uh, you know. Maybe we can try, yo. Hey, maybe we can try to double dip. I that's what I offered to do. I offered that, uh, hey, once we get paid for it, we'll leave like a back door for them to come get the weapons. 
yeah. but uh, he said it he, he said it wasn't going to be possible so um i don't know mm. well I mean, back to what we were doing <laughs> i feel i mean he's coming back around in 30 minutes which should i should i uh, maybe you should inform an actual I don't, I don't know if i should well i don't know if i should rat him out i feel like i can give him i can give him the opportunity to um run leave to yeah to to get away and uh i'll leave it open-ended as far as if he wants us to try to leave a back door and maybe get something out of that like i don't know maybe we can create our, our maybe he thinks there may not be one but maybe we create one anyways and we can provide that to them i'd rather i'd rather not burn a bridge if we don't have to so to speak Oh, I don't think it's going to get us like any more advancement with get around authority. I don't think they like us anyways. So I don't think ratting out a spy. I don't think they're going to like praise us and give us medals. I think they're just going to be like, OK, cool. The real question here is your employer and uh, uh, whoever this Lord Sinjin guy is, as well as your, uh, the Edge Corp paymasters. It's really just how much. Do you care about an entire planet of subjugated people versus money? Not really kind of much. Popping, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, if Not I want to spice already. up the story, are any of these people my uh, subjugated? Like, are any of these people my family? Do I know any of them? No? Okay, it doesn't matter. Wait, actually, my character wouldn't help any of them. He doesn't yeah, them. yeah, look at that. <laughs> yeah. We, have, we, have a, we're, we have a pragmatist here. Like. God right. damn. Like, like, I right. said, like I said, I think I'll offer to him. I'll be like, hey, if we see anything, yeah, if, if you'll pay us a little a something, something, we may Jack, we'll, you know my we'll do our best story. I know, <laughs> I know. You know it's he so was about this. I just wasn't expecting such a resounding. Yeah, we won't feel bad about this. <laughs> Let's I mean, right, jobbers, right. we got a job um, to do. Here, keep, keep As a loaded, person, I'd help the associated race All right. or so, planet, but as a character, you don't give a fuck. Yeah, right. same. Like as a person, I'd help them for the right price, but they haven't <laughs> been able to meet that price, so I don't care. Razor uh, might consider helping them if only because he really hates dogs and they have <laughs> dogs. Oh my god! <laughs> All right. I mean, so, he didn't help us, so he's got a point. Like, but I. The thing is, we know how much power that these guys hold, but we don't know how much power the resistance holds. It could be on the it's, wrong side of the war. It's entirely possible. They only he, got one person he, infiltrated. He, he told you that yeah, he could provide half of the original cost. It's entirely possible that that's just all the money they could scrape together. Yep. Yeah, like, well, it's not like they're trying to cheapskate uh, you or anything. It's just that's all. Maybe they, can they ought give. to pay uh, another army or something to help them out. Yeah. Yeah. That's essentially all what right. they were trying to do, but you know, that's that's all right. Like, how are we on? How are we? We're unloading? not an army, brother. How are we trying to arm an army? Yeah. 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 How are we unloading this cargo? You're you're like an hour and a half from me then. You you realize no, no, that like, like like are we putting it on a trolley, a train, are we you're just putting, leaving it on the ground? Like You're putting it on two uh massive hover trucks and you're right. supposed to you're so you were supposed to drive one of those. Right. Like you don't have a choice in that matter. You have to drive one of them. The uh, the other guys they got a contingent of hobgoblins that will drive the other one. But you have to drive one of them. Uh, and you're supposed to, from what you were told, you're supposed to drive it up to a stronghold. Right. Which is the main reason of why it becomes... One, you don't know how strong the stronghold is, but this guy probably does. There's a good chance that what he's saying is true. It's just there's nothing you would ever be able to do to make a back door into it. Right. Oh, yeah, because we're driving it to, like, a fortress. Yeah. How keen are these hobgoblins on, like, how many boxes do we got? You got, you have 50 tons. Um, so about the same weight in yarrow berries that you were transporting. Right, right. And like 20 something, like 2,000 boxes or something. Pretty much. Okay, so are these hobgoblins, <laughs> um, are they the kind of sort to like, you know, 
Like, are they bookish? They're bookish. Would they, they notice they if one crate was missing? Type of deal? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, what happened if we accidentally? Oh, the road was bumpy. I know we're on hover trucks. You know, and, and, <laughs> the and road like, was bumpy. And, and, yeah, and like a box just kind of like whoop, it went down that ravine. Oh, so you're saying your you want to hear? Book smart, Alex. <laughs> saying you want to hear what this guy has to say? Because I don't think we should agree with anything. Yeah. Until we know what his plan is. Yeah, like... Because otherwise, we're not just... You know, he might just start shooting somebody. Who knows? We don't know what he's going to do. <laughs> so you want to you want to talk to him directly, try to get his plan? We want to ask him around. what his plan is, and then we'll tell him if we want to help him or not. You know, yeah. Okay. Logically, then, to me. Then, uh, 30... After 30 minutes Sorry, gone by since you... Yeah, after... Oh, We okay. made a decision without you, Pink. No, uh... Sorry, yeah, no, I just... I, I got a phone call back from that... Yeah, yeah, um, your sensei, all right, anyways. <laughs> 30 minutes comes back around uh, after he had last left, and that same guard does step up over uh, to you guys, basically looking like he's on patrol. And he steps on over. Um, and he's essentially, like, try you, you, you sense, uh, Richard, that he is trying to talk to you telepathically. But, of course, he has no way of opening that channel. Well, I mean, when I see him, I feel like I would open the channel up. Okay. Have you come to a decision? Open up to him. Uh, the, the plan, Pinked, was to hear what he asked. Hear his plan first, and then we'll determine whether we want to help him or not. I see. Well, um, what would your plan be? Say, say that we were to continue with this deal. Um, not saying that we would accept, but what is the plan? And he, he takes a moment. I need some assurance. Says, I can't gonna, tell you. Yeah. I'll tell you, but I need an assurance that you're not just going to mouth off to the nearest guard. Well, what benefit would that get us? I don't think the Gitteron really cares about... Uh, uh, like, we wouldn't gain anything from it. And I think you've realized by now that we're all about personal gain. The two trucks are going to go up the road. You'll be in one of them. It's your job to subdue the two guards that are in your truck. <clears throat> After that, there's a likely chance that some alarm bells will be rung, and that's when we spring in with helicopters. And we'll take <laughs> the trucks by force. I'm sorry, what? They had helicopters. We have some. There's a resistance, apparently, so they probably have helicopters. The problem so, uh, is... <clears throat> Continue, yeah. Yeah. yeah um, so the problem is, is they might meet us with some heavier force. That's a pretty big problem. All right, actually, hold on. I, I think I might have gotten something confused. Sounds like a you problem. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I, I've gotten some things a little bit mixed up in my head here. Um, he said um, it would be your job to subdue the guards that are going to be on your truck. Um... We, ah, oh, fucking hell! I, I, I might have misread something here. My bad. Just two seconds. Okay, can I, can I be right back while you're looking that up? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay, one sec. Okay. Also, I, uh, uh, I, for, I think we forgot one detail. How the fuck, if we even go along with this plan, are we even gonna get off planet? Considering that the Geteron Authority has like yeah, an attack they cruiser, big ass at, warship. Yeah, and I'm not sure. I'm not certain. I'm certain that's not the only warship in orbit. They'd have to. They'd have to make it look like they beat the shit out of us too. Yeah. I mean, if we yeah. have to fight them, then it's probably gonna happen that way anyway. Okay. I'm. I'm. My apologies. I. I. I did get this mixed up a little bit. Um. He. Uh, <clears throat> he essentially says that one of the trucks. Of the one that you will be driving instead of turning off um to turn up to the stronghold you'll be looking out on the road for a uh old an old uh sideway uh an old highway house off the side of the road and you'll make a turn off the, on to the right uh as soon as you see that i will get into your ship 
and fly it over to the rendezvous. Uh. If you take that road, you will eventually meet up with our hideouts. Giving the keys to our vehicles. You don't need. I don't need your keys. <laughs> you weren't in that conversation, so you wouldn't have heard that. But no, I know, I know. I'm just, I'm just thinking. Yeah, I'm just sitting here sucking on my thumb, wondering what's mm -hmm. happening because. One, this, one way, two way conversation. I don't even understand it, anyways. <laughs> um, well, it's not being spoken out loud. Dun, dun, dun. I think Ping said he'd beer be. Yeah, yeah, so I'm just kind of making sure I have this right. You might want to save that till when he gets back, you know? Yeah. Anyways, how are you? Well, what a nice night, Mary. <laughs> About to get roped into another terrible situation. Uh... Uh, okay. I don't know. I really, I'd rather just not associate with this guy. Sorry, right, one sec. Minute. Yeah. The, okay, he, I'm back. He did make, I, I, I made a, a fuck up here and he said that he would bring in people with uh, helicopters. He did not say that. Okay. He did not That's make that, that distinction. So he just, um, okay. He, so. he says um, essentially that on en route to the stronghold, there will be a shack off the side of the street. You will make a right as soon as you see it, and you'll find yourself on a path towards a tunnel. After you get through that tunnel, you'll eventually make your way to our hideout. He said he would get into your spaceship and take the BD-514. Well, he didn't call it by name, but he said he would take your ship over to the hideout for the rendezvous. So that way you guys can get off planet when you're done. Was, um, hey, that sounds like an incredible load of risk. You understand that? Wait, wait. So the conversation's happening now, right? Yeah, yeah. Sorry, back on with. The oh yeah, pink, yeah. pink. Uh, I just you might not you might not have been there, but when we entered the system, we were greeted by a Getter on Authority attack cruiser. So just have that in mind. Okay. Like cool. we might they're, they're we might like not have such a yeah we might not have a great or a, a possible time of even leaving like the planet's orbit. Yeah, so um, I'm going to talk to... Yeah, I'm going to say, like, okay. You realize it's an incredible amount of risk, correct? So is running a resistance. Okay. But we are receiving neither the benefits of freedom from the resistance, as we are already free. I kind of rubbed that in. <laughs> <laughs> Nor are we receiving payment like we are getting with the Gitteron Authority. So basically, we are receiving less than nothing from this deal, as we are actually losing um, money, and we are we possibly die. gonna die by through at that battle cruiser in orbit. I is there anything else that you can offer us? It it doesn't have to be monetary. Is is there anything that you can offer us that would Just somewhat? Make just a side note, appealing. and this is purely like if you when you take off, this is something you would know. It would take quite a while. It, it would probably take like an hour for that cruiser to get to the other side of the planet, just because of the massive distance. If you just left atmosphere on in a different spot, you would have enough time to spool up your drift engine and get out of there before it had any time to, to fire on uh, you. Hmm. Assuming you uh, you entered atmosphere, or exited that's... atmosphere from a different location, uh, but. Any, that's fair that's anyways fair. it's still um, like he even the, answers even back the risk yeah. Yeah, yeah he answers back um the only monetary payment is that what i've offered already the other payment is the peace of mind that you actually did something to help when you could <laughs> have you seen my fucking mind <laughs> it's already in pieces bitch so you're not going to take the deal look it's a good joke. I don't you think would... that I don't think that this is a deal that we would be looking for. But at the same time, I'm not heartless. 
I'm not. You've proven a... only to be heartless. No, you are true. asking me to possibly throw away my life for nothing. The greater you... good. What greater good? It's greater not good. great for us. <laughs> yeah. What? What do? What do we have to gain? We we have nothing to gain from this. Yeah, and like once we like just say once we leave this planet, you don't matter anymore. <laughs> so listen, listen. <laughs> oh boy. Here, I just I just want to I just want to. Can I finish my thing? Because I don't want to leave you totally out in the, out in the open. Um. Here's here's the here's the deal. I'm not gonna rat you out. Again, like I said, we don't have anything to gain from it. The other end is, I think that you say it's impenetrable. I've penetrated many things that claim to be impenetrable. <laughs> I think that, uh, why don't we leave that open-ended? And if we can find a way to get the weapons to your um, resistance after we have received our payment, why not leave that option there? There's a fair amount of silence. Uh, eventually, he just walks away. There's that. Yeah. Uh... Well, what did he have to say? We're getting paid, right? Uh, not by him. <laughs> oh. Look, Alrighty then. He wanted he wanted us to uh first off here, this is you're not gonna like this. Um he wanted to take our ship to Oh no no to pick us it. up. No no that's, that's um, my ship. You yeah, can't have this ship. Even no. if it is just for a pickup, who's to say? Who's who knows what they would do with our ship? Who knows what kind of mess they would leave in in my like they they could eat all of my Doritos, it would just Doritos. <laughs> it would... Don't you make something up for this world? I I think so. I think I did make up some sort of in world Dorito. Hold on, what did I call it? Tur Doritos trademark. We don't get paid to say it. Doritos ever. Well, what is? Uh, okay. Doritas and Mountain Fizz. That's what it was. Doritas. Doritas. Yeah, oh, so they, they could eat all my Doritas. <laughs> um, anyways, I'm not comfortable with the idea of strangers taking our ship. Um, I don't think we're going to get much, much gain. They couldn't offer us anything in the way of tactical advantage. Uh, uh, like, I mean, I don't know. They just... They didn't have anything to offer us. And... Uh, I don't know. I'd say yeah. I say when we deliver it, we'll keep our eyes out for an opening in the fortress. But, eh. well, you know, if they do, uh, if they do just do what they're saying they're going to do, they probably aren't going to be happy about us not refusing. Well, probably yeah. not. But what are they going to do? They're the resistance. Uh, kill us. <laughs> Yeah, and what's, what's we have get around authority going to do? Yeah, get around authority is going to protect us. No, yes. I think <laughs> so. they might they might accuse us of being part of it. You know, I don't think so. I think that uh, I think if when they see us firing and uh, killing any resistance that may or may not try to stop us, as was his plan. Um they will realize quickly that we were not a part of it. All right. So, uh, oh, by the way, his plan was to ambush the vehicles and have us take out the guards in our truck, which we're not going to do. All right. So, yeah, that's definitely going to be a hostile action that they won't have any repercussions. So you, uh, you guys finish up packing mm -hmm. up the trucks. Uh, which is it like it is what it is. It's about nighttime it's now, but there's enough lights. There's enough lights out and whatnot that you can still work. Oh, and are as we soon supposed as you, to head out like right away? Or you're like... supposed to head out right away. 
You're saying uh, head out. They don't want you here any longer <laughs> than you have to be. They want you out of here as soon as possible. Well, like, same, finish up your same. business and leave. All right. Same, bro. So, it's about... It would, it would be about 8 p.m. by the time you guys finish up. Um, and you have. And after that, uh, the guards do assemble. Uh, you got about... Six go uh, six hobgoblin troopers going into the second truck, uh, and two uh, are going into the first truck with you four. And the question I want to ask you guys is, who's driving? A uh, razor? Yeah, I'll drive. Why not? I mean, if you don't want to, I think um, I can drive. I mean, I'm right driving. Thing. I don't know what detour he was wanting to do anyways, so I'm just going to go where they tell me to go. All right. All right. Um, one second. So, like, what are we doing? Are we all inside, like, the truck cabin? Is it big enough uh, to have all of us in it? There's enough, enough room in the cabin itself for the pilot or the, the driver and three other people, one of the troopers has taken the seat. The other trooper right. is sitting in the back with all the crates. Do we Can recognize I, any of these troopers as the guy that visited us? No. None of them look okay. like the same hobgoblin. Okay. Uh, can I hang out with the trooper in the back? You can. All right. I'll be at the front. Give me just a moment here as uh, Razor is driving. Yes. Uh, one second. So, uh, Razor's driving. There's a Hobgoblin in the front. Curse of Vets also in the front. Who else is going to be in the front? Is Richard going to be there too, or are you going to be in the back? How many seats are there in the front? There's only four. Th there's only four. The back is the like driver. with the cargo. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm sitting wherever is most comfortable. Sounds like the front. Probably yeah. the front then. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So at this then, point, we haven't rested yet. I still got like two resolve points. You, and I'm you, like have, you have time if you want uh, to regain your stamina points. For like a short rest? Yeah, if you spend the resolve points, you can get all of your stamina points back. But that's only if that's what you choose to do. No, I'm good. I only have two left. And I need I need those two in case I get fucking eviscerated by another <laughs> dog. Are you it's missing true. like actual health? Yeah, I got nine health because I got a eviscerated by a dog. Out of what? Fourteen. Yeah, you I got some a, health back from leveling up, but other than that, between unloading and the dog attack, could I have recharged my battery on the ship? Yeah, sure, absolutely. Oh wait, wait, wait! I still have my battery, by the way. Yo, can I can I cast yeah. mend? Can I cast mend on myself? Yeah, but you can only do that once a day, I believe. I know, I know, but well, like, I, I can't do that in combat well, anyway. Hold on, like I wanted to, I wanted to say I have a nanite patch that restores yeah. one one d six HP to a construct. Uh, yeah, let's just save that. Like this, this, this spell is free, and I can't cast it in combat anyways. All right, then go ahead and cast mending on yourself. Damage? What? One d four. Uh, the damage is just like hey! you so you regain, I believe, four. I'm at yeah, it I'm says at damage, but that that's just the, the default button. It would still like, hey. just roll the healing. Bless. I'm at thirteen health now out of fourteen. Cool. Okay. Good. Um, then you guys are all all good to go. You get the trucks packed up. You take front, as you were instructed to take a turn off off to uh, what is like a stronghold armory type place. Um, and you take off. You start driving. Uh, the journey for the first bit is a non-issue um, up till the uh, exit ramp off. The roads are not in the best condition, uh, but this has pretty much been a war zone for the last who knows does how it, long. Wait, does it matter to a hover truck? Not to a hover truck, because you're just floating above it. Now, hover trucks don't have true flight. If there's a dip, it's the, you're going right, to feel right, it. Right, right, right. But right, right, right. they, at the very least, you won't like feel potholes or anything like that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the okay. second ever track miss... does take off behind you fairly closely. Oh, so we're in I'm the sorry? front. Yeah, you're in the front of this caravan. Two truck caravan. Yeah. What did you miss? I was just saying I missed the opportunity 
when I was talking to that guy to say uh, the steel keeps getting worse all the time. <laughs> That's a Lando quote for Jack because I know he doesn't know where it's from. So fuck off. Uh, <laughs> all right. After you make the turn off onto, um, oh boy, yeah. You make the turn off onto the ramp that leads up to the armory that you're supposed to deliver the weapons to. And the other trick uh -huh. follows shortly afterwards. Belose, I want you to give me a perception check. Uh. Belose, the only one in the back? Yeah. Okay. Word, well, word he's with the hobgoblin. He's with uh, one of the hobgoblin troopers. Where's perception mm -hmm. again? Uh, it would be, I believe... Yeah, it's perception is right below mysticism. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. mysticism. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not bad. Thirteen. Oh boy. oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. One second. Oh no, we're gonna get ambushed. <laughs> okay. Thirteen, you said? Yeah. Give me just a moment. Oh boy. All right. So, Belosa, you're currently sitting in the back with one of the Hobgoblin troopers. You two are the only guys that are sitting amongst the crates. He's kind of like sitting away from you, uh, but is otherwise just kind of like keeping to himself. Would you like to engage in, in any way? <laughs> uh... Yeah, so how long has this, uh, this, this, uh, boogaloo been going on? <laughs> Are you saying that in character? So the, the war, <laughs> the boogaloo, huh? are you saying yeah, that in, yeah. in character? Yeah. Yeah. Boogaloo. What? This, this conflict on this planet. How long you've been here? Ah, about a year. Oh, damn. Damn, they got fucked in a year. <laughs> they don't have, have, shit. Have, have you guys been like quote quote have you has it been easy ha, like is the resistance that like that persistent incompetent uh, he looks like almost embarrassed to answer <laughs> they've been trouble they've been they've been trouble but it's it's nothing we can't take care of, especially with these. And he slaps one of the crates. And that, around that point, you hear, uh, we, well, you see, rather, because you're looking over at him, yeah. a Laz shot oh, uh, shit. from a laser rifle come right in him from the south of the trailer. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go and roll the attack here. But after that, we're rolling initiative. Oh, boy. Yeah, that's going to that's going to hit. All right, yeah, uh, and a laser shot goes sparking straight through the shoulder of that hobgoblin trooper you were just talking to. Uh, as I'm gonna switch over. <laughs> I'm gonna switch over our maps to kind of show what the fuck is going on here. Oh Winter my! Peak run. I, I I'm having a sinking feeling. Uh... <laughs> And uh, this dwarf-looking fellow at the back ends of the the trailer, and I have a picture here I can show you guys. This man here yells out, "You should have taken the deal." Uh, Look at that uh, haircut. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's uh, go ahead you, and roll. Are you are you, a, are you a strong, independent woman? No, he's a guy. <laughs> oh God. So, uh, no, we're here, for, uh, wow. Here, here's the deal. You guys are currently driving, <sighs> and that means that every turn, Razor is going to have to basically focus on that. So, I offer to Razor, do you want to control the hobgoblins? <laughs> uh, uh, um, yeah, that'd be interesting, yes. 
Oh my, oh my god. god. It's been another. So it looks like we're going to. I've literally do rolled a one for almost the set past they're, all they're, three combat. They're going to they're gonna be in this conflict regardless. It's just whether or not you want to control yeah, them. I mean, I don't know anything about their kits or anything like that. It's it's, it's okay. They literally have one one ranged and one, one melee ability. Attack. Yeah. That's, okay. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Uh, there you go. Uh, I have granted you controller access of the Hobgoblin tokens. Uh, on the sheet here, uh, you have control over both of them, I believe, and then you should be able to look on there, uh, double click on them to bring up their inventory, and you can see that they have some mm -hmm. sticky bomb grenades, uh, a oh, nice. las rifle, sure and a tag flash. Yeah, so they have they have stuff. Uh, make sure you're clicking on the right token because they're tr you're tracking their ammunition separately, uh, so they have their own inventories. Um, all right. So with that being said. Uh, Razor, you're the last one to roll initiative. Yes. I don't really need to, though, do I? Yeah, you do. You're still making rolls to control the truck on your turn properly. Otherwise, things will happen. <laughs> Alright. That's okay. That's all right. Yeah, shit rolls. This bot freaking sucks ass rolls. Now, uh, he already... Um, Vog right. Mine Brewer, this dwarf in the back with the Laz Rifle... Already pretty much shot this Mind turn. Yeah. Uh, so it is. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and go to Richard now. Richard, it's a little hard to hear back there, but you're pretty sure you just heard a scream mm. and a sh la laser shot. <clears throat> I well, coming back in. We gonna we gotta get we gotta get going. We got stuff to do. We got places to be. I'm gonna hunker okay. down. Okay, there we go. Sorry, the page was not working for me. I need to Sorry. reload it. Okay. And now I have no music. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't know why there's no music playing. Great. And there, there is like a, a little window <laughs> in the back, so that way you guys can see behind you uh, in the cockpit there. Uh, and you do cockpit. see that uh, there is a dwarf. Uh, the same picture I'd shown, who is currently holding a rifle and looks like they just shot someone in the back there. Yes. Well, that ain't good. I'm just curious, Jack. What's up? Let's say, let's say we decide, decide to shoot a box. Would it explode or anything? Well, the weapons, you know, don't have any ammunition in them. I mean, there's grenades. Uh, there is grenades, though. So, okay, can I Would... see anything from back here? You can make out the fact, yeah, you look through the back window and you notice that there is, in fact, uh, some dwarf that is firing upon you. Not you specifically, but you get the idea. So, so I so, can see the dwarf. You can see the dwarf, yeah, he's there. All right. Uh, um, would you like to say anything to your companions in the cockpit? <laughs> I'm not, he's mind, just this, go is, like, this is a wall, right? He's just going to go like, oh, shit. <laughs> um, and then there is going to be right in front of his eyes, a giant number one victory royale like flashes in front of him. Uh, and yeah, uh, it's Infinite Worlds, the Flash of Bright Light one. <laughs> uh, what does that do? <laughs> You're gonna have to tell me so, the actual. Yeah, facts I, I, I have to figure out what the DC is for it. It just said, okay, you cause a fl uh, bright flash of light to fill the area. Each creature within the area must succeed a fortitude save or be dazzled. I don't know what my save DC is for that. Uh, it should tell you on your classes page for it. Um, DC is equal to 10 plus the spell level expended to create the effect, plus your charisma modifier. Okay, so 10 plus, so 1 plus charisma modifier should be 4. So 15, right. DC 14, fortitude what save. Is what is the because you're projecting this onto a moving truck? 
Would so, uh, everybody in the just... back? <laughs> would everybody in the back also be affected by it? I don't know the, the range on it. You have to tell me. I the don't know. Is, no, the range is 100 feet. So I put it right in front of his eyes. A giant number one victory royale. Sign. <laughs> so he has to pass the the check, or he uh, is dazzled. So do, so does Belose and the hobgoblin trooper in the back, and so do you because you're looking at it. No, no, no. Sorry, the range is 100 feet. The uh, radius of the thing is 10, 10 foot. Oh, okay. So he needs to give me a uh, will save yeah. or a reflex save? What is fortitude. he doing? Fortitude. Fortitude. Uh, yes, fortitude save. He saves. Fortitude. 15. Fuck. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> How far away is he? So there is, there is actually that. There is a big Victor Royale number one in front of him that flashes, but he covers his eyes just in time to save himself from it and kind of ducks down behind one of the crates. Uh, uh, anything else you are doing? Uh, I'm thinking like move action. He's out of range. I don't know what else I could do with move actions, really. You can't really go through this wall right here. There is a window, but it's more so you have to go through the door on your right to get. Uh, yeah, to this I area. mean, I mean, do we have cover fly out there. You have cover, but you're not the ones getting shot at right now. Below, say, and the hobgoblin trooper in the back are. How fast is the truck moving? The truck? It's moving its top speed right now. Which is around... Uh, oh, I totally forgot to give you guys the stats for it. Uh, check in your vehicle section. I should have just given everybody ownership of it there. Yeah, heavy hover truck. Um, its full speed is 450... Uh, oh, sorry. Its speed is 50 miles an hour. So you're okay, going four, 50 uh, miles an hour. Okay, I heard okay, 400. So I cannot I go, keep bro. up with it. If I fly, <laughs> you're gonna have to yeah. Around. You're gonna God have to damn. attach yourself to the side of it. You're gonna have to like get some yeah. footholds there. Like you, like you actually have to like use your arms, but I think they just snap off. Uh. Uh. uh good. I I think I just uh yeah I don't know I don't think there's anything else I could do with my move action that would be beneficial. All right then. So I'm razor. just gonna yeah I'm I'm cool. Hello. I'm gonna. I believe you need to give me a I'll piloting take out my check. Weapon. Sorry. At a oh, negative yeah. two, because the the heavy ever truck is uh, very hard to control, and this so you have a negative two to a piloting check to it. But in order to make sure you're staying on the road after you just heard a gunshot, I need you to give me uh, a piloting check. Wow. <laughs> Good thing it's plus thirteen. It? Holy. <laughs> It didn't add Hello. my plus two for the overcharge. Or not uh, overcharge that's not an in... It should have added that to your initiative roll before. Okay. That that only is on your where where's your initiative roll? Here it is. It's uh, yeah, eleven it, it plus added six. Yeah, it okay. added it. You have a plus six, so you already had your initiative roll there. Uh, all right, so fourteen, right? Fuck, what is the DC? I totally knew what it was. Hold on. <laughs> uh da, da, da. my bad okay oh i'm sorry um okay good uh so you realize after you shoot you look behind yourself and you realize uh that one, you kind of slowed down just a little bit as the second hover truck behind you is almost about to hit you. Uh, so oh. you managed to, yeah, you managed to save though. You you rolled a 14, you just managed to save. You managed to punch the gas a little bit, which kind of knocks everybody in the cabin and everybody in the back a little bit over just a bit. Not enough to get any condition, uh, but you managed to keep on the road. Um, is this hover truck flat or does it like have coverings on the sides and back? It has, uh, it's pretty much flat. It's like a flatbed. Yeah. Uh, so you can get out of your car and kind of move along this uh, side here, but that's about it. Um, other than that, if there's anything you can think of that you want to do, Razor, uh, that doesn't involve taking your hands off the wheel, by all means, you can try it. Nope. No? All right, cool. Here's the vet. Uh, can I shoot through the back window here? No, it's a window. You would break it. Uh, you would have to like. Uh... I'm perfectly fine with that. 
this. Okay, you would have to take your action to break it then. <laughs> First but of I all. But I can still attack. Ye no. Your, your attack is on the window to break it, so you can actually shoot through it. Also, is this our truck or their truck? Can I use my this is their truck. To break the window? Okay, good. Yeah, go ahead and break it. <laughs> no, <laughs> it would be your action. It would take too much time. You would have to try to. You would have to take some time to break the window so you could shoot through it. Otherwise, you could just open the door and start trying to make your way over to the back. So there's like even if I try to shoot through it to try to hit. No, the window work. would stop the shot. Yeah. He's got a pretty, a pretty strong uh, shot there. It's an industrial, uh, it's an industrial window. No, you. I'm telling you what you would have to do. You would have to break the window in order to shoot out of it, and that would take an action. Uh, okay, so if, like if I move right here, I could still. Right. He's kind of be. He's a little bit behind cover, uh, but yeah, you could shoot at him then. Uh, let's see. Okay. Uh, I think I am going to try and... Uh... Ah, fuck it, why not? Yeah, I'll just get out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whatever. Alright. Uh, then yeah, you can open the door, and as you feel the wind, the cold wind of this planet kind of wish by, you manage to align yourself onto the, the outcrop that you can step onto, uh, and drag yourself over to a crate where you're steadying yourself for a shot. Okay. Oh, by the way, before, like, when I was doing the reloading thing, I noticed that explosive rounds in it. <laughs> <laughs> what do I want to do, do you... that? <laughs> All right. So, then, yeah, uh, no, it's just my, my, character, my char character has been like. Then go ahead and roll. Give me on that the attack. Security roll. of this shipment, so. He wouldn't be loading explosive rounds, so I just changed that. Ah, uh, yeah, I'll just do an attack. Seventeen. Uh, he does have cover uh, behind one of the crates. Uh, which does give him an, an extra AC bonus. So the needle shoots out from it and embeds itself into the top of the crate in front of him. Uh, kind of ducks down a little bit more with that, but it looks like he's getting ready to volley back. Uh, it is, however, uh, the Hobgoblin's turn that's currently in the cockpit, who has heard the, the commotion going on outside, and before you accept, uh, he is radioing and he's saying, uh, warning, we got attackers. Uh, it's, it's the resistance, they're attacking us. Uh, uh, so other than that, Sep, you can control this hobgoblin. He is currently just in the, the co-pilot seat of this, uh, this hover truck. Back window shattered? No, it's not. Why is it not shattered? Because, uh, Icky didn't want to take so action. Didn't shatter it. <laughs> wow. So he just jumped out of the moving truck? <laughs> I didn't uh, jump a... out, I got onto the ledge. Yeah, there's the ledge he's standing on right now. Okay, well, Hobby here will do the same. Alright, he gets out of the truck and moves on over there. Alright. I just didn't want to break it because I'm like, I'd be taking away your cover. I like open the door as the cover. goblin's going past. <laughs> yeah. Knock him yeah. Off. <laughs> Are you, you knocking the back. goblin off? Yeah. No, you, you can't. Have, uh, he was completely on accident, accident, action, so we can't do it. No, it, it would no, be an no, attack of opportunity. Yeah, yeah, no. Uh, so no, no, you can't. So uh, he's there. Uh, the uh, the dwarf does still have cover, uh, but you can absolutely shoot. Talking to me? Yeah, you can oh. shoot if you want. Yeah. What's what kind of guns does he have? He has a las rifle. A laser oh, rifle. Oh, got a laser gun. Good old yeah. Empire Special, am I right? Yep. Uh, which mm -hmm. has 120 feet of, of uh, distance it can cover. I believe is. I see yeah, that. Absolutely. Goodness. Yeah, I'll take a shot at the. Problem is, when I click on this, uh, all the other tokens disappear, other than the ones oh. I control. 
You know what? I know exactly what's going on here. Let me grant them fission. Uh, fission. Yeah. By the way, fission. aren't there two trucks? There are two trucks. This uh, this is all that's happening on this truck right now. You see the is other truck behind truck? you. Okay, so the other truck is behind us. Okay. Yeah, it's still following afterwards. Okay. Um, two trucks having sex. Um. All right. Uh. So That's... there you go. You should be able to see. You should be able to have vision with that token now. Do right. you when you click on it? Uh. It's... Yeah. Okay. All right. Or like be able to see I'll, the tokens uh, with it. Take a shot at him, I guess. So. All right. Uh, go ahead and fire. Wow. Nineteen. Feels uh, good to get good rolls. You know. You actually hit. Go ahead and roll uh, the damage for the weapon. Actually hit. I actually, actually hit. hit. You actually hit. Oh. Oh my. And he takes five Damn. points of laser Except, damage. Can you change your character? <laughs> yeah, I can't want this gun. Only uses apparently one charge per shot. Yep. Uh, yeah. So you. Uh, well, I should say the hobgoblin uh, yeah. gets out of the side of the car, lines up the shot, and fires. Uh, you do hear on his comma ray that he's saying, take care, uh, that comma somebody ray. on the other end is saying, take care of the situation. Uh, <laughs> failure so is, is not an option. What is he, the operator? Like, no, 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 no. He's, you, he's, that's what he's hearing through his comm. Like, I know, that's I know. From, it's just like, yo, this guy is like yeah. the operator. They're not going to help him be like, yo, just take care of it. Take when care you of said it. That, it sounded like you said the cum array. I would just, I don't <laughs> the know cum why array. A little bit. Wow, uh, really? I'm, it is I'm the, fairly certain that's what you said. but It is the other hobgoblin's turn who is in the back there. I feel like that would just be um, a big bukake then. And remember All to right. make sure to open up his own character sheet because uh, tracking the ammunition separately and whatnot. He does also have a sticky bomb grenade as well. Sticky yeah. bomb out! All right, my turn's done though, you know. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm saying that you can play the other hobgoblin. Oh, it's my, yeah. it's his turn now. Yeah, yeah. 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 They they oh, all right. pretty similar initiatives. Lucky you get two turns. Well, I'm gonna take another shot at this guy. I guess shit. Yeah, go ahead. Fucking fire. I'm not definitely not gonna throw a grenade and possibly compromise the uh, <laughs> other grenades and so oh, all. Oh, unfortunately, yeah. That shot goes too wide, and you actually see it uh, hit the hover truck behind you and like one of the the heavier set metal pits a bit so it doesn't penetrate but you see the little scorch mark uh as the red laser hits it uh below say uh Whoa. you're finally able to react to everything that's been happening <laughs> yeah i'm a little bit slow you know like you're just trying to have a conversation and then all of a sudden this rude ass dwarf starts shooting the hobgoblins yeah uh hmm Hmm. Do I fire explosive dart? <laughs> <I'm joking. laughs> I'm just gonna. I don't have spells that I don't have spells at the moment, right? Uh, you don't have any spell slots. You have zero level spells. You yeah, might have yeah, to just but... take your gun out and shoot. Yeah, I actually have to shoot now. The oh, the. Uh, I'm gonna just yeah attack with my dart. Okay. And. Uh, I believe that's accurate range, right? Yeah, 40 feet. Nope. I, I'm assuming I don't hit with the 10. Yeah, no, not with the 10, unfortunately. So the shot uh, wings out and goes into the crate as well, as there's people just firing upon this man. Uh, is there anything else you wanted to do with your turn before you ended it? I don't uh, think there's too much you have. I don't think there is anything I can do at the moment. Yeah, unfortunately. Um, all right. So we go back up to Vog Mindbrewer and he just starts at he like gets out of like before he gets out of cover while you're all shooting at him. The resistance really could have used those guns. And I really wanted to trust you. But I'm gonna have to take the way that makes that puts me at the better advantage. And he gets up out of the uh out of the way. And you actually recognize uh Richard that that's the same inflection and in voice as the hobgoblin you were talking to earlier. He just raises up and goes to fire his last gun at this hobgoblin once more. So he was camouflaged. Man, we got a one-man army here. Apparently, yeah. we just couldn't see through that camouflage whatsoever. You, nobody asked. 
<laughs> nobody nobody <laughs> questioned his disguise. It's passive perception. Yeah, uh, not in this game. It's not. <laughs> yeah, I know. Apparently, that just doesn't exist in this system. Yeah, it, you you kind of have to ask. What right? did he fire? He fired over at the uh, the hobgoblin trooper. Yeah, the same guy's just trying to take him down. And then, pew, pew. Uh, he is literally a one man army. There's nobody with him. Wait, there is nobody so with him. Literally, this is all that would have happened if we helped him. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he seems pretty strong, so... Well, Smith's about to get laid down. Let's just say you haven't seen everything that's happened yet. Uh, we could have done this the easy way, uh, which is obviously not the easy way. Uh, Richard, it's your turn. <laughs> um... So... Oh if I fly because the truck is moving like super fast, would I gain a bonus to my like how far I could move? You like would have to roll. Dwarf. I'm gonna have to say there's gonna be an acrobatics check to k properly catch yourself where you wanted to land, but yes. Okay. So, but would it still be a move action? Yes. Okay. I'm fine with that. So... Uh... Hmm. I'll move there. I think, uh, so... This dot, uh... Maybe so see. kind of like... Flying over that way, kind of deal. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, oh, right, I don't so know why I didn't. It's a control. I'm... Yeah, it's control. Yeah, control and then space. Or, yeah. Um. So I need to get. I need you to give me an acrobatics check to properly okay. land where you want to. Uh, because you're kind of okay. going along with the winds here. You're kind of fighting the uh <laughs> the storm, as it were. There is no storm. It's just like high winds, but yeah. Yeah, you make it. Fuck it. Yeah, you land right where you want to. Uh, I can't remember. Was it there? Uh, oh, shit. I thought um, you were wanting to, to land here. I wasn't sure. Uh, oh, yeah. If I land there, I get cover, right? What? No, I can't. Landing, like, here, that's, like, behind the box, yeah. kind of, like, cover, right? Yeah, you got some low-hanging cover that you can benefit sure. from. Okay. Oh. Um, okay, and then... <clears throat> Um, I'm gonna ask him what his favorite Fortnite map is. <laughs> uh, so <laughs> season three hundred, classic, because uh, it? it's been There's... so many years. <laughs> no, uh, so let's see. Confusion. Yes. Uh, <laughs> so he needs to make He's a will like, save. Hey. What's your favorite map, bro? <laughs> he succeeds. Are you kidding He's kidding He's like, yeah. Misty Meyer. <laughs> Moisty Meyer, fuck you. Moisty Meyer, fuck, whatever. He says it right. Classic, <laughs> that's where I learned right. how to shoot. <laughs> okay, cool. All right, sweet, bro. Dude. When we find out that sweet. Richard now has spell casting for some Dude. reason. Yeah, anyway. um, sweet. Razor. I need you to give me a drive check. Dude. Uh, sorry. Oh, yeah. Razor. Sorry. <laughs> they said Richard. Uh, all right. Yeah. No, you're good. You're able to keep this uh, this uh, car, truck, hover truck uh, properly on Dag the road. Dagnabbit, who made these trails so thin? <laughs> Yeah, you're like almost brushing up against the hard rock here and like off the it's side like of the road. Driving into bed or something. Uh so if there's anything else you wanted to do as Razor, or if you just wanted to I don't know if there's I too will much. Grip you can. this the wheel tightly. Alright. So what I understand what he's saying. He's saying in common. So I can understand him. Yeah. 
You can kind of piece together what, what's going on here. Uh, okay. So if I want to get, like, up here, I don't know if we're doing, like, special kind of, like, No, I would just be climbing something. on top of it, yeah. Alright, cool, cool. You're, you'd be good. That's, that's something you could do in your movement action if you wanted to climb on top of one of the crates. Yeah, I'm probably gonna do that. Alright. Quick, quick question. With some of the spells, it says 25 feet plus 5 feet every two levels. Does that mean every two spellcaster levels? It's, uh, no, it means your caster level. Your caster level is equal to all of your levels combined in in caster classes. So for you, it's just okay. one. Okay. So it's just 25 feet. You unfortunately only have access to the to that. Okay. Yeah. Uh. All right. Anything else you're doing, Pedro Savet? Or are you just getting on top of the uh, Yeah, no, I think I'm going to attack my needle over my phone again. All right, throw it out. Or do. Yeah. Yeah, why not? All right. 14. Uh, that yeah. does not hit. Uh, as the shot me. wings out past... <laughs> Like, as Richard Blevins is landing, the shot kind of, like, goes pat whiz past him and then, like, past the truck entirely uh, off into the water somewhere. Uh, That's it. Hobgoblin's turn. First up, the guy on the Yo, railing. These hobgoblins are going to kill the guy before we do anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Ah, die, you scum! Oh, oh god, shit. no. Oh. No. Not good enough. Uh, the, la the last shot just w wings by, uh, kind of searing the top of one of the crates on its way past. Mm, hold anything. still! <laughs> uh, other Nothing hobgoblin. Else I want to do. All right. Hobgoblin number... Oh, ah, god. Yeah, take that, bitch. Yep, that's oh, definitely gonna hit. Almost a crit. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Why damage? Yeah, nice. Uh, another five points of damage wings into him as like he's like getting up to get ready to fire himself. Um, with one of the laser shots, hits him directly into his armor and like wins him. Uh, he just kind of winces like, oh, this could be so much easier. Hello, <laughs> Sam. Me? Yeah. Uh, I'm just gonna fire another another dart go ahead do it <laughs> it's a pretty good shot uh does that, does that hit but with this cover it's unfortunately not a hit holy shit this guy has a fucking ac of 18 god damn actually it's mainly just the cover cover provides a plus four bonus to your ac Plus four and that yeah. oh god. Richard, you so Richard and this in this hobgoblin are all taking advantage of cover right now. Uh it's just that he's been rolling pretty high and you guys have been rolling pretty high too in some cases. Would I have would I have cover as well since I'm also You do have cover, crate? yeah. You're behind a crate. Uh, so you uh, do have partial cover there that guarantees you like the plus four bonus. Uh alrighty, but yeah, uh, the shot does wing into the crate in front of him, which is currently being turned into a pin cushion. Can I like move after? Yeah, you can still move if you want to move to a different position. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Can I move there? My move. Uh, it's a bit difficult terrain because you're moving over crates. You can move can I go there. there? Yeah. All you right. You can move there if you wanted to. Boom. All right. Now it's uh, the dwarf's turn again. As he realizes Blose is taking the initiative here, he's going to go aim a shot. And this time, he's going to get up. He's going to do a full attack. I'm going to try to attack you twice with the laser, uh, Azimuth, but uh, with the full attack action, so here we go. Alrighty. So, I have cover, though, and he's also using a full attack. Yeah. Okay. He's trying to hit your EAC, though, so, which is, oh, this was 12. So that first one doesn't do anything. Uh, 14, uh, which right now your AC is effectively 16 against him, so he does not hit both shots. So uh, oh, two wrecked. two flings out, uh, pew, pew, as just like as you like are vaulting over the crates, 
<laughs> uh, you notice these shots kind of wing past. One of them wings past. You kinda, get down, duck into the crate, and yeah, the other I one just like dive straight back. into the space. I'm like, ah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, Richard Blevins. You know what? It's it's all or nothing. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna do void whispers on him. And uh, he's got to make that. Why does it say DC 14? Uh, it's based on the spell level. So ah, it's, yeah. Okay. Uh, so, so anyways, for Kanchuk, right, it would be yeah, one we'll, lower we'll than see, if he cast. We'll see if he fails the, the Void Whispers. And uh, if he does, he walks in a random. Yes! <laughs> All right. Uh... He has to walk in a random direction on his turn, which he could Oops. include off the thing. <laughs> Incoherently and takes a move action to move half its speed in a random direction. When it moves, the target takes the safest route and doesn't enter hazardous terrain. Okay, so it doesn't just walk right off. Oh, yeah, okay, no hazardous terrain. Okay. Game. Well. Uh, so, yeah, you just like, you cast that out, right? And then he goes, yeah. up, his eyes go wide and he just starts naming off of the safest Fortnite locations in the maps where you. Yeah. Uh, can get gear all easily. right go he starts Fortnite. going all right guys here's how to get free v bucks <laughs> all, all you have to do is go to this website and download this tool <laughs> <laughs> trying to see like who's within um, 20 feet of him oh yeah okay yeah uh, just making sure. what else is there um that was your action oh that's my action uh by the way looting oh. is always an option so if you do like this guy's gun he has the same gun that uh the hobgoblins are using you could just take it off him after he dies well wow well, well. yeah I'm, I'm sorry, that possibility looks like yeah too bad i don't know minute. anything that's what's happening back there <laughs> just saying yeah, I don't know, Jack. I, Does it count as, a, as an attack to go take his weapon? Yes, it's a it's a uh, combat maneuver to disarm. You hmm. the spell says nothing about him being so catatonic that you can just take his stuff. There's nothing about that in there. You can't just do that. I mean, he can't. Uh... Oh, I guess yeah, he's. He just has to move somewhere. He, he still can attack and everything is normal. Yeah. Okay, so then I'm going to demoralize him. Okay. <laughs> hit him Hit him with the old demoralize tool. Um, oh, one, one sec. Okay. And that's a 30... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, so, yeah, 15 plus one and a half times the opponent's CR. One and a half times. Uh, so the DC... Alright, the DC is 19. It's a, it just because the fucking math is a pain in the ass. Um, DC is 19. 19, so you succeed that every five after that, so... So 20, like so 15, four rounds? Four rounds, yeah. Yeah. There we go. He's demoralized for four rounds as well as whispering top tips. Yeah, so he has minus two Renew to Fortnite attack rolls, saving throws, skill checks, and ability checks. Okay. Um And then yeah, and then I'm done. Alright. Uh <laughs> Razor, drive the truck. Good roll, good roll, no. good roll. No. I let it go. <laughs> Slams on the brakes. Let Jesus take the wheel. 23. You have a really good fucking modifier for that, by the way. Um, yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> Trying not to spend eight days in space and drift. End up doing it anyways every time. Yeah. Um, yeah, so you... <laughs> Uh, are trying your best just to make sure that the car is still going straight as you hear gunfire in the back. Uh, oh man, sounds like it's popping off back there. <laughs> Harris Yvette. I'm just gonna take a, 
I'm make I'm gonna make a full attack. All right, awesome. So two attacks, both at negative four. Keep in mind, he does kind of have cover for me because he's banned a crate. Um, well, real I, quick, I, I don't mean to like. Oh wait, actually, that would not be a good idea. If I, um, we're past time, and I, I kind of like I can't stay too long tonight. Uh, it's fair. ten o'clock. I don't know what. I don't know how long. There, there is just this one guy for this encounter. There is stuff after that, but if you, he does still have most um, of his health. Like, do we tell if he's bloodied or anything? He's is he... not bloodied. He is. He's taking a couple shots. He's taking yeah. about ten damage, but he's not bloodied. I yet. don't know. I feel like it's gonna like it's, it's gonna be a while before we kill him, and I I have to like I after after we're done here, I have to drive. Okay, Ow. then what we can do is we can finish up this round of combat. Uh, okay. It's just so that way uh, Percy Vet, Hobgoblin, and Zimbalose can uh, can have some, some actions, and then we'll end it for the night. Okay. Can you also right. mark that he's uh, Void Whispered? Or has he been so attacked? So where can I move to He hasn't here? been attacked yet. Uh, you're pretty much on top of the crates. You can ki they're a little bit difficult terrain to move across. Uh, so it'd be like half my movement? Like half your movement, yeah. So you can move uh, like... 15 feet. 15? Okay. Yeah, because your speed is 30 feet. That's oh, shit. That's right. That's not right. Whatever. There we go. Uh, and Wood Whispers. I think it's just in, it's until he okay. gets. A, oh, sorry. It's uh, not even until he gets well, attacked. It's just one yeah, round. It's, just, it's just one round. One yeah. Round. All right. Yeah. And there we go. It will be more if whenever I get to a higher caster level. Yeah, I think I was gonna make a full attack. Level, but... Just make a full attack? Okay, throw out two attacks then, negative four each. Okay, alright, never mind. Void Whispers just isn't gonna do anything then. <laughs> Void Whispers is not cancelled out by somebody attacking him. Yeah, it is. No, if if the target is attacked, the spell ends immediately. Oh. Uh, where does it say that? Yuck. Oh, uh, if the target is attacked, the spell ends immediately. Oh, okay. Then yeah, so, uh, both those attacks okay. do miss missed. though. <laughs> yeah, uh, as you wing out two uh, shots from your needlers, and they just kind of go right past, and one dings off his armor, and the other one just kind of wings past his ear. So you're getting close, but uh, he's not quite there yet. Not that close. Just so we can finish this up, hobgoblin troopers. Yes, sir. We shoot. Shoot. We score. No, we hit. don't score. We try again with the other one. Hopefully one of them scores. Nope. Uh, 17? Uh, they yes. are targeting his EAC. Okay. Just barely missed, unfortunately. Uh, oh. Yeah. Uh, as it we the shot wings by him. Uh, one shot wings into the grid in front of him, the other one goes right behind him and like goes into the window of the last truck, which does look like it's struggling to stay steady. Uh, but does so correct could, itself. Could Void Whispers have made him, like, stand up so that he has less cover? He still technically has the half cover by just being beyond that crate. Um, okay. Below say. Uh, he does look like he regained his composure, though. Well, no, he hasn't been hit yet, so no, he hasn't. He's still, Not, still I good. mean, I thought it just says if, he, if they're attacked. I don't know if that means hit, but... Uh, if the target is attacked, the spell ends immediately. I would argue that means he was hit. Alex? Mm. Wait, what? Sorry. It's it's your turn. Oh. Yeah, I was uh, finishing up this round of combat. If I, like, if I, like, move here, does he still get cover? Uh... There's a little bit of cover going on, but you can make melee attacks from there. Uh, nah. I'd say you're in like five foot melee distance. You could, uh, the crates aren't providing that much cover. You could probably uh, go try to hit him with a melee attack of some kind. You can move there. I don't know how much movement speed you have. Yeah, uh, 30. It's like 30, so you don't know. Oh, he's so going over. Yeah. 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 You know what? Stand, stand on top of the box. <laughs> Nah, I'm just gonna shoot him. Fuck it. I'm, right. gonna... Uh, I'm gonna do a full attack. Okay. Might as well. Both attacks at uh, negative four. Ne yep. <clears throat> what was your Be decision careful. on 
like also, no, void also, was done now, right? Yeah, uh, uh, he hasn't been hit yet, so no. Okay, um, so then he would have to make the save. Oh, that's true. Oh my god. Okay, so both, uh, no. both shots doing out, but yeah, uh, Belose, you do need to give me a wisdom saving throw as you do hear the ominous whispers he's giving off. Oh uh, shit, DC it 14. affects me too, eh? Yeah, it affects all people who start their turn within 20 feet of him. Wisdom. Will. Will save, yeah. Well, it's pretty much the same. Uh, what's oh, your will save one. modifier? Wow. Uh, your will save plus is plus one. four, actually, so it'd be a 13, uh, which still does not succeed. Oh. Uh, plus 14? So... No, plus no, four. No, plus four. Uh, yeah, pl uh, so... sorry, so plus four, which is 13. Okay. You yeah. are confused for one round, which does something. I'm you sure. roll a percentage die. Yeah, roll a percentage die, and then um, here I can I can do. Yeah, roll D one hundred, which is, should be like on the die roller on the right there. So two D the the two D tens on the dice roller you see at the bottom right of the screen it says D one hundred. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just hovering yeah, over. Click it. that and roll. That. Yeah. So these this one. That the one, the one that is two. I, okay. I don't know. The one the, I can't see it. The very bottom, just click right. It out. Whenever you hover over, it says D one hundred. It looks like two D twice. Just once. No. No, oh, just once. Sorry. It's yeah, a button it, that. Yeah. And the, there you go. Yeah, there you go. Seventy one. Uh... <laughs> he, he's. <laughs> so great. technically, those full that Hits full himself. attack. Uh, oh yeah. So he's confused, so he hits himself. <laughs> I, I totally forgot. So you actually weren't able to attack, so you do regain those two shots that you had shot out. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Uh, real fast as I change that, but you do have to. Uh, what's your one d eight plus your strength modifier to to yourself as you punch yourself in the face? So how much? One d what eight? 1d8 yeah. plus your strength plus modifier. Strength. All right. Do I just should I just roll melee? You can just roll. Like, uh, no, it, it wouldn't be that. It's not the same oh, okay. damage. Yeah. Oh, okay. So 1d8 plus my strength. What my strength modifier is? Plus zero, I believe. Uh, yeah, yeah. So you take five points of damage to your stamina as you punch yourself in the face, and you're not sure why, but <laughs> you have a feeling it has something to do with top ten tips for uh, maintaining a proper Fortnite channel. Uh, and that is uh, as uh, you all are kind of getting ready uh, for the next round of combat, we kind of pull ourselves away. We see the two trucks driving at full speed uphill. Uh, we pull off planet to see the, uh, the massive, uh, massive warships of the Gitteron Authority. We pull away to see the system that this, that Voxa inhabits. Uh, and we go ahead and we bring ourselves to an end for tonight.